The area around the Old Severn has always been the, the most important part of the golf course in terms of overall biodiversity. Um, it's uh, the lowest part of the golf course and therefore it's the wettest part and as a consequence of that not only does it have the incredibly rare, rare Chinese swamp cypress uh, but also there's a lot of other wetland dependent animals that occur in the area that are of biodiversity importance and that covers a range of species including the Reeves terrapin, uh, Chinese water snake, there's a very localised crab that is very important in this area and there's some fish and a, a very rare, possibly undescribed species of shrimp from here as well. Now, the problem we had was that over time, the, the main pond, which we're standing in front of now, because of um, natural processes had basically become filled in. So basically all of the sediment in the area, because it's the lowest part of the golf course, drained into that and slowly over time filled up, dried out, and as a consequence, became overgrown with exotic weeds. So whilst it had some biodiversity value, that was really diminished. Uh, and what was decided was that because of the, the scope for enhancing its biodiversity value, but also because it's functioning, functioning part of the golf course, its landscape value, that we were going to go in, we were going to remove a lot of that sediment, reshape the pond and come up with something that was not only visually more attractive, but also much better value to wildlife. And when you introduce a new type of habitat, we get new species. And we've literally just seen um, two red-necked phalaropes, which is a long-distance migratory bird, which likes wetland habitats on migration. We've just seen two on the pond, and that's the first record for the golf course. And if we hadn't improved this pond and provided this open water habitat, these birds wouldn't have occurred here. They would have just carried on migrating north.